What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. So I've been really, really busy at work, like working and stuff, right? No, seriously, I've been working, like doing actual work at work. Alright, so this is just basically shit that I do at work too. But I'm actually working, I really do work. So what I wanted to actually do was um, give you guys a quick update on cortisone shots. Now, here's what wound up happening around my 13th week. I'm in my 15th week now, 14, 13. So my 13th week was my follow-up visit with my doctor. And he saw that I wasn't quite there. I want to say my rotation and my movement around the 14 week mark was maybe 80%. You know, I still had kind of some range of motion issues and I showed it in the previous video and stuff. And he wanted to actually take the next step. Now your doctor might not prescribe this, my doctor did. Again, I really like Craig Mincer. He's aggressive with the work that he does, but he's aggressive for a reason because he knows what the fuck he's doing, bottom line. And what he wound up doing was he gave me a cortisone shot. With this cortisone shot, I kid you not, and I've taken cortisone shots before. Um, obviously, you know, some doctors, what they'll wind up doing is they'll give you a cortisone shot at the very beginning just to kind of hold you through the pain until you actually get your surgery and stuff. They'll have you get the MRI, and then afterwards, if the surgery is scheduled for a little bit further out, they might give you a cortisone shot or something to reduce the inflammation. Um, but he gave me a cortisone shot to break up scar tissue in my arm significantly faster because he wants me to recover faster. Um, he sees that I'm trying to get there, but he sees also just with my rotation of my arms and he does a series of tests, he sees that my arm is trying to get there, but the scar tissue that's built up inside isn't letting me, regardless of all the stretches and stuff that you wind up doing. He said it just, it'll get there, it'll just take longer. So, he wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, and again, he gave me a cortisone shot. And I gotta tell you, it was amazing. Like, day and fucking night, within like two, three days. Because that first day you get it, you're like, ah, oh, okay, you know, I just, I was like, fuck, a cortisone shot, really? He goes, trust me, this will help your range of motion significantly. He wasn't kidding. My range of motion is, I want to say, the only thing restricting me right now from calling it 100% back is that yesterday, yeah, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday in my week 15, I was doing, I was back on a chest workout and I increased the weight and I felt the shoulder blade or I felt tension where the labrum is, you know what I mean? And I felt it there. And again, that's just a little bit more scar tissue and the shoulder blade trying to fire at the same time with your shoulders, with your, with your delts, with everything, trying to fire all at the same time. And I felt just a little bit of twinge. That's the only reason that I'm not going to say I'm at 100%. I played softball uh, two games already. Uh, after, well, actually I already had, was it after? Yeah, after the, um, the cortisone shot, I wound up playing softball one game. I played another game just this last Tuesday, and I felt great. I honestly felt just absolutely great. I was taking a couple swings before. I was being really cautious with my swings just to kind of, you know, test it out a little bit, and I'll do another video on what kind of sports you probably will be doing um, after a labrum surgery, because I get a lot of questions on it, but honestly, if you get around the 14-week mark, and your doctor doesn't recommend this for you, ask for it. it. It's like night and day, no joke, and I'm not really a cortisone fan, I'm not, definitely not a steroid fan by no means, um, probably the only time I've ever taken a steroid is when I had asthma, when I have asthma. Uh, the inhaler has steroids in it just because you gotta breathe, man. But this literally knocked out the the just a slight um, impingements that I had. Now, again, I'm not gonna say 100% because I can definitely feel it on my chest. And I can also feel it when I'm trying to do a squat. I still have a little bit more stretching to go. That's it. But that's what I wanted to do a video on, guys. I wanted to kind of tell you guys the benefits and what I saw dramatically or dramatically change within just one cortisone shot. Uh, and he said, depending on where I'm at, by the end of this month, he might give me another one or he might not. Uh, he said, 
basically this will give me the opportunity to really break up some scar tissue. So again, guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Share them out there with people. Um, so, you know, a lot more people just kind of just stumble over all my videos and stuff. But if you know somebody that's going through the surgery, recommend it to them. Um, post it up on your Facebook, whatever you guys want to do, share it, send it off. And uh, as always, guys, you know, I'm humbled by everybody that's subscribing. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later. Thank you.